So how can substances enter or be secreted? So the plasma membrane of the cell is a selective barrier and that separates the interior of all cells from the outside environment. Yeah, but first of all, I've got here a video so the, our students can see the plasma membrane and here they are looking at the phospholipids moving in the membrane. The, the flexible membrane that allows substances to enter or exit. Okay, here in this uh, slide also you can see the cell, uh, Podedes ver a célula, and here you've got a, um, a picture of the plasma membrane with different proteins that I'm sure Nina will explain you very, very, very soon. Okay, so Nina, are you watching the same slide as me? Yes. So great, great. So that's fantastic. So let's go with the next one. Okay. So diffusion depends on the size of molecules. So if the molecules are small, they can pass by through diffusion. Diffusion, okay. Small molecules like uh, what? Uh, like gases? Yeah, like gases. So oxygen, oxygen. CO2, and even mineral salts. Okay, mineral salts. Uh, fantastic. So and you're watching here how uh, different gases can pass through the plasma membrane following gradient concentration. Did I say it right? Gra gradient or gradient? Gra gradient concentration. Gradient concentration. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the diffusion movements occur along the concentration gradient. So substances are going to pass from the side of the membrane where there is a high concentration uh -huh. And they're going to pass to a side where there is a low concentration. Okay, so I'm going to repeat the animation here. So, uh, molecules are going to pass from high concentration, like here, I've got O2, and they go along grading concentration, and they are going to pass to the place with less concentration. Okay, yeah. you are going okay. to watch it here. Okay, CO2 pass to the other side and now O2. Aquí pasa oxígeno seguindo un gradiente de concentración desde o lugar de mayor concentración a a zona, en este caso, a otro lado da membrana de menor concentración. Este sería aquí o citosol e aquí sería o líquido extracelular. Vale? Muy bien. Pues let's go in on. Seguimos. Pues um also, we have medium-sized molecules. So these can pass through the membrane with the help of other things. Do you know what can help these yes. molecules pass through? What? Proteins. Proteins, so, they are going to help, I think. Yeah, okay. Mm. If the protein doesn't need energy to do the transport, this process is named... They don't need energy. So these ones don't need energy. Okay, some, some they need. One, okay, yeah, but some... with these ones, they don't need, okay because now we are talking about facilitated diffusion. 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 Yeah. Facilitated repeat. diffusion. Repeat, repeat. Facilitated diffusion. Facilitated diffusion. Yeah. Okay. So this allows substances to flow along the concentration gradient, but with the help of proteins. Okay, I'm going to show the first video. Así que aquí estáis viendo las proteínas transportadoras o transport proteins. Eh, podéis ver cómo cations, ok, minerales can pass through the protein. Ok. Bien. So, these proteins can be channel proteins. So, they open to form a channel or carry or, proteins. Okay, so the first video we already watched is a channel protein. Okay. But there is a second one called, what's the name? Carrier protein. Carrier protein. And what happens with the carrier protein, Nina? So they are gated, taking substrate in from one side of the carrier. And without using energy, the substrate is released into the cell. Okay, but the protein 
is going to change the the shape. Okay, I've got another video here, and they are going to watch it. Okay, so here, sugar goes to the protein carrier, change the shape, and now uh, glucose is released in the cytosol. How do you say glucosa? Glycose. Glucose. Glucose. Mm, Tomad de nota. Glucose, ¿vale? O profesor, no siempre di las cosas bien. Bueno, casi siempre. Pero como casi. está aquí Nina, aquí encima, ella que nos corrige, es fantástico. That's fantastic. Sí. Muy bien, así que nos queda claro que a difusión facilitada tenemos en este caso dos tipos de proteína. Una, a proteína eh, tipo canal, eh, que pasa directamente, vimos antes, cations como era eh, o potasio. Eh, otras, en eh, que eh, eran unas transportadoras y que cambiaban a forma de la proteína a pasar desde desde fuera de la célula cara al interior. Bueno, y no se consumía energía. Vamos con el siguiente caso de transporte. Sí, pero esta time it needs energy. So yes to energy. Active transport. Active transport is the name. Uh -huh. So the protein structures pump the substances through the membrane against the concentration gradient. Against the concentration. So that's because it needs energy. Because it's very difficult. It needs energy. Okay. Yeah, so you push it back to a high concentration. So This is usually to accumulate high concentrations of molecules that the cell needs, such as glucose or... Okay, I've got a video here. Very interesting to show that. So, here we are, go we are watching active transport. Here it comes the energy, ATP. The protein release the sodium outside. Because here there is more concentration of here in the inside of the cell. And now, okay, so this is the sodium potassium pump. Yeah, that's right. That's an, a good example of sodium potassium pump. Perfect. Okay, we are watching the video here, and I think it's a good example of it. The potassium it's being accumulated here inside the cell and the sodium it's being expulsed outside. Outside there is more concentration here. Sodium it has got more concentration and here potassium has got more concentration inside the cell. Did you understand me, Nina? What I say? Uh, you said it okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. If I say something wrong, just tell me. Okay, please. Okay, so we can... We're going to move on now to large molecules. Okay, we go with large uh, molecules. Perfect. What's the name of the, the entrance of large molecules inside the cell? Endocytosis. Endocytosis. Uh, unless, unless it's a liquid. And? Unless it's a liquid, which okay. is pinocytosis. Pinocytosis, that's right. Phagocytosis and pinocytosis. If it's solid, it's called phagocytosis or phagocytosis. 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 Yeah. And if it's liquid, pinocytosis. Yes. Yes, sure? Yeah. Okay. You so got it right. I've I've got here a video and and they are going to watch how phagocytosis phago, phagocytosis fa, phagocytosis. Phagocytosis. <laughs> okay. Phagocytosis occurs here in a cell. And I've got here another uh, video where a paramecio, how do you say, paramecium? A para, sorry? Paramecio. Paramecio. Sí, paramecium, you know the genus? 
No. No, I haven't. Do you have the the I video have it here in front of you? Yeah. Do you see Paramecia? Yeah, it, I can't watch the video there. Okay. I'm going to display the video. And here, un paramecio, okay, que es un protozo, intenta comerse ahí una microalga, pero mm, es tan grande que no es capaz de de incluirla toda. ¿De acuerdo? Fija de vos. Aquí está, o paramecio intentando churum, 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 pero no puede. ¿Mm? No puede con ella. No puede. No puede, no ha habido, no se puede. Luego verás más tarde, eh, Nina. Es muy divertido. Intenta englobar toda una microalga, pero no puede. Pero no puede. No, no. ¿Por qué o doble que la? Ay. Muy bien. Muy bien, pues ya tenemos claro qué pasa cuando son moléculas muy grandes. Sí. What's next? En. When this comes inside the cell, mm -hmm. it forms a vesicle uh -huh. and it can fuse with a lysosome. Okay. So the lysosome contains substances, digestive substances, that break down the contents of the vesicle and then it forms smaller, smaller pieces. Okay. Okay. And what happens uh, when digestion is done? So you can expel the substance via active transport called exo exocytosis. Yeah. And this needs energy because it was active transport. Okay, I'm going to show it here. Okay, so here you are watching exocytosis. And a particle is expulsed outside of the cell. Yes. Very good. Vale, pues lembra de vos, endocitosis y exocitosis. Endocytosis, in English, and exocytosis, also, two processes, inside, outside. Yes. Pero eso que quedó claro, vamos con el siguiente.